Introducing Robo Squirrel, a, you guessed it, robotic version of the little critter made with your taxpayer money to test how rattlesnakes react to different squirrel behavior. Now the little guy is being attacked, no, not by snakes, but Republican lawmakers. Now they wanted to study whether a squirrel that doesn't wag its tail, whether it will be bitten by a rattlesnake. <laughs> Only problem, they couldn't find a real squirrel to volunteer not to wag its tail. <laughs> but I can tell you the bottom line for the $300,000 question, a rattlesnake will bite the you-know-what out of a squirrel not wagging its tail. David Farenthold has been looking into this eyebrow-raising spending, and it's always just fun to talk about these projects. Yes, that's right. Uh, and the, we're talking about a range of these. It, there's all these grants out there all the time. The National Science Foundation gives grants to researchers to study basic science. And so in Washington's budget debate, uh, every once in a while, one of these folks gets sort of pulled in as an example of, can you believe we're spending money on this? So Robo Squirrel is a good example. Yeah, give us some good ones. What else so this, there's another research where they want to study um, the impact of low oxygen water on shrimp. So how do you know if a shrimp's feeling good or feeling bad? And the answer is you build a little underwater treadmill and the shrimp will run on the treadmill. And in good, good times, they can run hours, seven or eight hours on huh. the treadmill. And if they, but if you give them a disease and lower the oxygen in the water, they might just run for a little while and then sort of keel over. Um, but there's another one where a researcher gave uh, cocaine to quails and then measured their sexual behaviors as a way of sort of an analog for how humans react when they're on cocaine. Uh, another one was about um, chimpanzees throwing things, including poop. Okay. Uh, there's a researcher who was at Yale who got $384,000 to study duck genitals, duck penises particularly. Uh, and she, the interesting thing about her is that although a lot of these folks have tend to sort of Lay, lay low, figure like, well, there's no point in having a discussion. No one's going to listen to me anyway. Just wait for the storm to blow over. This researcher has come out and said, look, I'm proud. I'm, I'm glad to be doing this. I want to be sort of representative of these folks and tell you that it's actually a good idea to spend money on stuff like this. And what's her argument? Her argument is that an educated, cultured society spends money on basic research, which means research on things that it's not obvious why they would benefit us at all. It's just important for us to know about how the world works. And at some point, some benefit may come to the taxpayer. But that's just our responsibility as a society is to investigate things like the sex lives of ducks. Uh, I remember back in 2008, one of John McCain's main stump speech laugh lines was the thing about the $3 million on grizzly bear DNA. I don't know if it's a paternity case or a criminal one. Right. Chuckle, chuckle. Do, is the, actually cuts going to be made this time? Because best I know, the grizzly bears are still, like, that didn't get canned. No, no, it didn't get canned at all. Uh, there is, this part of the sequester, the National Science Foundation, which gives out a lot of these grants, is going to take a sort of an overall cut. Um, but we're not talking about cutting these individual projects. In fact, the, for instance, the duck research, the money's already gone. It's already out the door. So uh, you know, there's, that's, been, that's why it's been brought up this week by some conservative critics saying, I can't believe we're cutting sequester money, we're cutting the White House tours, and yet we still have money to fund this. They're really two different pots of money. My other question or thought is perspective. We have a multi, multi-trillion dollar budget. In the case of this squirrel, I guess it was a $300,000 grant, but the actual ridiculous squirrel was only what? It was the actual construction of Robo Squirrel, which was a taxidermied squirrel with a robot put inside of it. That was only a few hundred dollars. A few hundred dollars in a multi-trillion dollar budget. Is this just total ridiculous? These cuts just don't matter. Why are we making a show of this? Well, it's true that if you got rid of, the, of any of these particular things, that they would not fundamentally change change the way the budget works. But there is a broader argument to be made here about the role of government in society. I mean, is, is the government's role to fund basic science? And the argument is that companies, corporations, private interests might fund the kind of science that would produce a drug or produce a product you could sell. The, in basic science, the government is the one that, has, that does bankroll that now. And if they stop doing it, then that whole foundational level of science might be lost. Uh, interesting stuff. Thanks for coming by. Thank you.